Today we're changing the fuel filler neck in my uh, 2008 Jeep Grand Cherokee WK. This is a diesel model, but it probably applies to most of them for the most part. So you just uh, open your filler cap. There's nothing to do in here. You're just going to shove this thing right through. The problem I'm having is that I'm leaking when I'm filling the vehicle. And diesel is pretty frothy at times. And uh, this thing here on the uh, vehicle, for whatever reason, is passing fuel. So it's running down and it drips on the ground and goes down my tire and what have you. So it's uh, a bit of a concern from making a mess when you're filling. And then if you're leaking fuel, you could also be leaking water in and you don't want that. So this thing, this one, I think it's mentioned it's a Lilan aftermarket. It's got a 13 mil bolt holding that on. Then there's two plastic clips that you're going to need to retain the hose that goes up to that breather. You will need to lower your spare tire to do this job. Don't need to get it out of there. So there's the uh, the bolt that you got to get out. It's going to be a problem. So I'm going to oil it up. You can do a little inspection under here, see how things are doing. Oh, I don't know what that is. It works, so I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs> Hopefully it goes back in. Um, yeah, so there's going to be that rubber line that goes through with the two clips on it. So you're going to retain all that stuff. It's just pushed on. And um, yeah, so this one, there's no charcoal filter because it's a diesel. But otherwise, there'd be a charcoal filter in the back here somewhere that that rubber line would go to. I'm not exactly clear where it would be, but not a big deal. You just need to have the two fittings reconnected. And then there's a, a worm gear clamp in just past this hole that we're going to have to deal with. So I'm not going to show everything. Just kind of wanted to give you a quick rundown. If the camera can see up in there or not. But uh, that's where the filler neck goes. And so we've got fuel running down the, the back here. And you got a diesel. That might be the uh, what's going on. So when I get the original filler neck out, we'll take a look at it. So I'll carry on from there. The fuel filler neck is out. So I'll take a look underneath and show you what I'm doing. The Lyland actually has an extra vent line on it compared to the uh, original diesel filler. So I'm going to have to uh, cap that off so that it's uh, not leaking fuel and causing any trouble. That was kind of unexpected. It was easy enough to get it out of there. Like uh, you can see that this is all kind of greasy here. Like I said, I feel like the diesel was frothing up. I don't think it was leaking from up here and down, but I, I could be wrong. I don't see any evidence of that going on. So really, this line here, I just yanked on it from down here and it popped off. And this, I just pulled it through. And uh, yeah, it seems like it went through, no problem. I am going to stuff some towels into the filler neck before I put in the new one. And uh, I had the impact gun out, never used it. I just used WD-40, a 13 millimeter. And really took my time getting that bolt out because I didn't want to break off anything. Then there's like a, just a basic clamp there. So I use a flat screwdriver for it. As soon as you get that off, you should stick a, a cloth in that as well because it's going to be junk falling down. And up in here, there's lots of garbage. So I could have hosed that out first, but I did not. So um, yeah, I left these clamps on the line and just yanked them out of the bracket. That worked good. And then I got some diesel dripping out of here. So somehow the diesel does make its way up into that vent line. Like I said, because it's frothy. 
So uh, I think that's where we're going to end the video other than I guess uh, now I'll get the new line in and I'll put a cap on it of some sort and then we'll, we'll wrap things up. Okay we got it back in. I ended up spraying this piece of rubber with some WD-40. I'm going to pull the cap out of here now. The plug rather. So nothing got in. The uh, cap fills fits for the diesel. So that's good. Underneath, I cheated. I took that extra line and I folded it over and squashed it with a hammer. It's a little plumbing trick. So you can see there's like a bit of a, a there was a bit of a bend right where there. I folded it over and I just put it on a two by four and I beat it down with a two pound hammer. Got the bolt in, push the plugs in. So all you need is a 13 a bit of spray and a flathead screwdriver to do this job. It's not bad, it's a bit messy. You're gonna get crap on your head. You should be wearing glasses whenever you're working under a vehicle. So that should be it for this. So thank you for watching.